the military calls tanks a fancy weapons. Infantry conducting assault operations often need the cover of their brothers in arms, the assault crews of combat vehicles. When performing a combat mission, tank attack aircraft can drive clues to enemy dugouts. If you hit well, then it is impossible to survive there. Everyone will be killed anyway. Usually, if we go out, the Russians see us. They see that the tank is coming. Then they call everything to destroy us because they are very afraid. Russian occupiers often use guided anti-tank missiles to stop Ukrainian combat vehicles. Therefore, to protect the crew, tank drivers themselves make special additional armor. This metal construction can save the lives because Russian army, like and Ukrainian army, have FPV drone kamikaze. And of course, all the time they're trying to destroy Ukrainian tanks. It is not a nice feeling when you see an anti tank guided missile. You look through the gun sight, such a red dot flies towards you. Either it's a cornet or other missile. If it hits the armor, it burns through completely. But if it hits here, then it is 50 or more percent that the crew will survive. Actually, it's not too much place inside this tank, only for the two people, for commander and for the shooter and the driver, of course, but he's sitting somewhere there. It's very interesting because uh, we have uh, the possibility to see, uh, to see how it's working, uh, how sitting inside the commander and the driver and we inside. You are in the gunner's place. In front of you is an observation gun sight. On the left, what you hold with your hand is a night gun sight. If you raise your hands up a little about the sight, there is a so-called chiburashka. You can spin it. Now you spin from here. And the turret goes right, left, up and down. This is the gunner's place. This is how he works with the equipment. Some of the combat vehicles of the tank crews of the 30th Separate mechanized brigade are rushing captured equipment. The enemy left it on the roads and in the fields near Izum, running away from the Ukrainian defense forces during the Kharkiv operation last year. Among the trophies is a T-80U. There are newer, modernized sighting systems here. The loading mechanism has been slightly modernized. It is a little better, a little faster, and in battle, the faster the better. These combat vehicles have a helicopter engine, same as the Mi-8 helicopter has. It is capable of easily reaching high speeds in a 46-ton armored vehicle. Engine is 1,250 horsepower. It has one of the Mi-8 helicopter engines. Therefore, it is very practical and easy to ride. If you tell the commander that you are being followed, the driver mechanic can accelerate it up to 100 kilometers on dry ground. Tankmen of the 30th Separate Mechanized Brigade know the captured equipment helped Ukrainian units carry out combat missions in the Bakhmut region. Here the entire front line is covered by the defensive structures of the Russian army and without the cover of assault tank crews, it is not easy to move forward in this direction. Reported by Dana Kolasnik, Alona Gramova, UATV News.